fans are not just because they're a cute fashion thing. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's, it's, hot. it's so hot. hot. Welcome to the Cup Refilled, where the reality of the past becomes the tea of today. I'm Logan Murphy. I say something gay. Gay, we are drinking some fabulously wonderful and very caffeinated pomegranate lemonade. Mm. Um, I said, oh, I have caffeine. Guess what? I'm going to add more caffeine to it. Mm -hmm. um, so this is dangerous. Period. But it's really the only thing that's going to get me through today. <laughs> it's very much needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And hello. I am Lana, your resident diva, here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea. Because you know I love to be some tea. Her. And if you have some tea, you know what to do. Hit me up, period. Um, I, too, am trying to get very much caffeinated because it's necessary today. So I brought her back. Yes, yes, I did for a return appearance. My strawberry sun kiss. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A classic. Classic, classic. I love me some strawberry sun kiss. She loves me. And so I will be drinking her today and getting all the caffeine that comes with her because I am thirsty. But I also got water here because, of course, water. Hello. Hydration yeah. is important. And Always. So, and it's really, I don't know. Never mind. I won't even say it. But yeah. <laughs> well, we are back. It is now season two. Season two. Project Runway. The search for America's next great fashion designer. And we're here. So we are doing things a little bit differently than we did for season one. Go check out our season one reviews. It was very fun. It was very exciting. Carson and Carson. And guess what? Carson. Um, and Carson. And Austin mm -hmm. Scarlett. And Austin Scarlett. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Carson. And Carson. Um, but so we did that. Uh, we did two episodes per podcast recording. This one we're gonna we're gonna try to get through it a little bit faster. We're trying something different, so we're gonna be doing three episodes per podcast episode. So today we are talking about episode one, two, and three of Project Woman season two, a season that I think is a good follow up season to season one. Mm -hmm. As far as the drama is concerned, as oh. far as the fashions are concerned, um, you know, we were talking prior. I don't think it necessarily lives up to season one fully, but I think it does give good moments, good drama. I'm very excited for the Andre of it all. Like, I'm very oh. excited for that. I'm mm -hmm. excited to hate on Santino Rice. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. My body is ready for it because fuck that man. Mm -hmm. um, he but he's a great it. designer, unfortunately, is the fact of the matter is he is a really good designer. So yeah, I mean, for me, I it's been such a long time since we went back and watched these seasons. And so I'm just a fan of Project Runway in, in general and how the format of the show is and the designs that come from it. So season one was very exciting. And very, some really great designs. And it's so crazy to think that how long ago it's been that we watched season one and seen those designs, and they still live up to the, like how good they are. They like or how bad they or were. how bad they were. But for this season, I feel like I do think the designers stepped up their designs, and in each and I, I, and I think that just naturally happens a progression in each season that the designs are just. <laughs> going to be better because the yeah. designers get better. They know better, so they do better. Yeah. But I feel like for me, this season, the, like I like this cast. I feel like it's pockets of people this season that I like more than others. As far as like last season, I liked more of the collective than I did just pockets of people. Everyone but Wendy Pepper. I mean, and even Wendy had a 
part in the like she was the drama she was and, integral to the narrative of the season right and i feel like it was like maybe it's just the way that it was edited and how we were giving it to us so we perceive it that way i feel like if wendy pepper wasn't there something would be lacking in season yes. one so i feel like every piece was connected and made sense yes. this season so far from the episodes that i remember that i've watched i feel like it's just pockets of people i just really remembered and i liked as far as season one, I remembered all of them. Like when we went back to watch, I was like, oh yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember. Yeah. This one, this season, I'm like, who is that? I don't even remember you. There's and they were on the like, show. There's a couple where I'm like, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Like, like we do have we do have our Wendy Pepper inspired character. Mm -hmm. We'll talk a little bit. Not nearly as much in this in this set of episodes about card cards, right. but right. Um, we do get that sort of like feisty woman mm -hmm. uh, archetype. They did really. I think they took from season one. They understood, you know, the archetypes that they casted, right? And I think they really tried to. You, they tried to get talent, obviously, mm -hmm. but I think they did a little bit of of type casting. Type casting. Well. Mm -hmm. These people feel very similar to people that were cast on season one. I mean, the comparisons can definitely be made between Jay and Santino, mm -hmm. between Karasan and Zulema, between, I would say, to an extent, both Kara Jenks and Marla to Wendy Pepper. Mm -hmm. Like, I think those comparisons can be made. Um, Guadalupe to Nora, I think. Guadalupe to Nora, absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. Emmett to Kevin, I think, yeah. is another. Mm -hmm. um, um, no, not Heidi. That is not her name. Well, she is on this season. She is a Heidi, but yeah. There is a Heidi, but I'm not trying to relate Heidi. Um, what is her name? It's going to bother me. Diana, call Chloe, Kristen. Um, Diana. Mm -hmm. Diana to like almost Alexandria or Alexandra Zandra. a little bit. Mm. But yeah, I it definitely is some parallels that you can see. I I I will say I don't I mean I think they you know Zalum, Zalima and um Kara is a little bit different with their like styles. And I think the only thing that compares they're both black women, sure. Great. You need a black yeah. woman compare the black women. Um, but I don't think, well, you know what? I think their attitudes about like, look, I'm here to win this thing. To compete and win. To That's compete. more what I was thinking. Yeah. Right. It is, it's more like their level headed. They're both very level headedness yeah. about the. I'm the, not, the yeah, I'm not comparing them in a sense of, you know, their fashion style and their, the way they mm -hmm. work as a designer. Designer. Um, I'm looking at it more as a reality TV type casted yes. person. That's where I'm. That's where I'm comparing all yeah. of these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but so we get we get to see the open casting calls because mm -hmm. most of episode one is Road to the Runway. Mm -hmm. That's so the thing. Really. All, <laughs> yeah, it is quite literally the theme. Mm -hmm. So we get to see some of the open casting calls. We see some of the you know. Designers that did not make it to the show. Mm -hmm. um, the one I remember distinctly is the one girl that was like, I love pink. Everything is pink. I love pink. <laughs> pink. And then the comment, I, God, I love Rob. Robbio, love mm -hmm. Robbio. But mm -hmm. he goes, well, he literally, like the girl was like, oh my God, I love pink. Pink is everything. Pink is what I do. And pink is what we do this season. Um mm -hmm. But he goes, well, you know, Project Runway is just like a really, you know, intense environment. There's like a lot of like time crunches. So you can't be thinking about pink all the time. I'm like, what the f does that mean? What does that have to do with anything? Nothing. Like he could have came back and been like, well, you can't always work in pink on Project Runway. So what else do you have in order to, you know, what else do you, what else can you bring to the table besides pink? Like, Rob, come on. You don't and have to. And in honor of that, we're bringing pink in our background, not being, bringing pink in my drink today, apparently. But. I'm sure. But, like, yeah. yeah, I did. One of them that stood out to me was when um, the dude was like, Wendy was asking him a question, and he was like, Oh, 
you really like you are on TV, huh? And I was like, Ooh. oh, and then the one in LA where the guy just came in in just a blazer and heels. And, and, and I was heels. like, you better work. And they were like, and are you going to wear pants? Carathon like, was like, are you going to wear pants on the show? And he goes, if you want me to wear if pants. You want me to wear pants. Like, Great. I was like, Period? Yeah, so, it, so the panel <laughs> is Tim Gunn plus an alum of season one plus two other people from like fashion magazines that don't ever pop up ever again. Yeah, I think they're producers, might be producers on the show. It seemed a little bit like it. Um, but yeah, so we get to see Jay at one. That was really fun. Austin Scarlett, <laughs> our baby. Robbio pops mm-hmm. into Miami, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carson in LA, love Queen Mother Slay, and then <laughs> Wendy Pepper. <laughs> when I Chaz- tell you, I never laughed so much in my life oh. with Wendy Pepper because each time they would have the contestants like walk through the lines to see everybody and greet them and. You know, like, hey, hey, talk to me. Like, oh my God. Yeah, we get the anecdote from Austin Scarlett where he was like, Yeah, I auditioned on the last day. Like, e- e- like you're the last person in line. I auditioned on the last day. Like, I get that. Don't right. give up on your dreams. That girl didn't make it on the show. She but like, make don't it, give no. up on your dreams. But it was so fun. So, everybody, you in mostly in most places, was like, Oh my gosh, you're on the show. Blah, blah, blah. That was great. Nice to see you. Yeah. Wendy Pepper comes out and when I tell you people are sitting like people are standing in line people are sitting on the ground in line waiting and they're like and she's like she's like I'm Wendy from the TV I'm like girl and then people are like no it was crickets it was it was blink blink all blink. I'm gonna say <laughs> Is I cannot wait for the moment where we get to Project Runway All Stars, and we get to once again talk about Wendy Pepper and her. But you know what? But you know what? Rest in power, Wendy Pepper. Rest in power. You do your thing. Yes, Diva. So pulling out for my homie. Truly, truly that. Thank you for your entertainment, even though we're not the biggest fan of you. But thanks for your. Period. So after these calls, we get we get pop-ins, of course, of all of the uh, designers that do end up making it to the semifinals. We find out that 16 semifinalists are making it to New York. Mm-hmm. One of them being... Showed up in L.A. He just showed, showed up. up in L.A. Daniel Franco. I forgot this happened. I did, too. I truly I was that. like... I was like Oh, what? But it makes sense. I mean, my thing is this. I applauded Daniel Franco for having the courage to come back yeah. after the way he was put out season one. Yeah. And because usually if you get first boot, you can be like, you know what? Screw the show. Screw these yeah. people. They don't know what they're talking about. I'm out of here. Blah, blah, blah. He but went asshole. home. Yeah. <laughs> he went home and she didn't get put out first. No, but, she went you know, fourth. Like, but like anyway, he went home, looked at the criticism, and was like, you know what? Let me show them what I could do because I really didn't get a yeah. chance to show them my talents and anything. What I really want to show them, I was so in my own world of bliss that I wasn't looking at the big picture. I wasn't focused, and I need to show them who I am. And he took all the criticism that he got and he channeled that into making a rebrand for himself. And I appreciate that because I think that's so cool. I think that's so cool. I agree. Yeah, I I was like, good for you. I'm really happy that they were, you know, so open-minded to bringing him back to. Mm-hmm. I thought that was that was really lovely. And um, it showed that in for me watching this season, I was like, now this is the Daniel Franco I like. Cuz like the first one I was like this man is wacky, cuckoo, crazy. He is out of his mind. But this time, I'm like, you know what? Oh, well, I see you, Daniel. I, I, I see you for who you are. Yeah. Agreed. And Kara so, was so funny. Did you? Kara <laughs> was like, "Do you Daniel. think you can do it?" 
Wow. Well, he's like, how are, like, I was like, Daniel Franco. <laughs> like, Literally. I'm like, Daniel Franco? <laughs> so they were so shocked. They were like, okay. And Tim was like, Daniel, could you step out so we can talk about and this? He was like, thank you so much for your time, blah, blah, blah. blah. And Tim's like, we're not getting rid of you. Just we have to talk. I'm like, just come. We're, you're coming back. You're coming. We just want to talk to you. Talk. Yeah. Talk. Yeah. So we get our 16 designers heading to New York. We find out that the first challenge, and this kind of is the rest of the episode, really. Mm -hmm. The first challenge, they received a box from Tim about a week prior to coming to New York. Uh, It's a box with, I believe it was six yards of muslin. Mm Mm-hmm which is not an easy fabric to work with and also Mm-mm. not an easy fabric to make look expensive. Mm-hmm. Because it's mostly what's used for like... To, uh, before you fit your... <laughs> get yeah, the it's, fabric. It's like, it's like the pre-fabric before you actually use the fabric. Use the fabric. You're like, okay, I'll pin this on and then I'll sew this. We'll make mm-hmm. it in muslin and then we'll use the actual fabric afterwards. Right. Um, but yeah, six yards of muslin, $20 for accessories... And you had a week to make Do a it. look that exuded your personal style. Yep. So that was it. Um, it's there. We're doing, you know, the meets and the greets and everything like that. And we see all of our icons. And then Daniel Franco shows up and everyone's like, Daniel Franco. Daniel <laughs> Franco. <laughs> that is. I love that that has just now become a meme for us. Yeah. Daniel, Daniel Franco. Franco. Okay. Oh, he's Whiteboard gonna... Daniel I have to... Franco. I, well, no, I'm going to have to pull it. I'm going to have to pull the actual audio now. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to go pull the audio for it and just have Kara Sahan say, Daniel, Daniel Franco. Franco. It's probably not even as dramatic as we're making it out. No, to be probably like not. <laughs> it sounded that way to me. <laughs> Truly, it, honestly. It sounded uh, that way to me. But, okay. Franco. Um, but yeah, so everyone's here. Um, they get two hours prior to the runway show mm-hmm. uh, to fit the models. This season, we are we have the Tresemme Hair Studio and yeah. the L'Oreal Makeup Station. Mm-hmm. Um, I forget who the excess. I think it still is Banana Republic. It's Banana Republic, yes. It's, it's still, still Banana, Banana Republic, Republic for a couple wall. of seasons. Yes. Yeah. Um, the Banana Republic accessories wall. Um, this is the season, I believe, that establishes mood as the, the fabric, fabric store. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, if it wasn't this one, it was season three, which yeah. I'm also excited, very excited when we get to season three. But, um, but yeah, so they have two hours. They get randomly assigned models. Really, the whole tea is Daniel Franco is not ready. Shocker. Like, <laughs> I mean, what? I don't understand what we're not ready for. You had a week prior to get this together. What are you not? I mean, I get fitting the model and then have to make some adjustments because the model might be bigger or smaller than what you thought. Blah, blah, blah. Get it. Got it. But what? What are you not ready for? <laughs> I don't well, some people only took eight hours on their garment. We'll talk about it. Sure. Sure. Anyway. But anyway. I say we just get into the looks because honestly, think, nothing happens. It's yeah, it's time. So. Episode one looks. There's 16 of them. We yes. have We have... 43 looks to go over in this episode. I'm very thrilled. (laughs) We're going to start with Nick Varios. Oh, I love Nick. I love Nick. This reminded me how much I love Nick. And I I was like, oh, I really did like him. Really love Nick. And I love this outfit. And you want want to know what, too? I love Tara. I love Tara. Tara is too. my Martinique. Of He's the my season. Martinique. I can yes, see come him. through Tara. Yes. Um, Tara is just that girl. She is that girl. She really is. Mm-hmm. But no, this garment is stunning from Nick. I 
the open back, the oh. way that you, the way that it's like it's it's literally business in the front, party in the back, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the best possible way. And how did he make this with six yards of fabric? I do not know because it seems like it's so much more than six yards of fabric, but it's fit perfectly. It's tailor I, I feel like he just used every yard that he had. Honestly, yeah, he had like to. It, like, that jacket, so that jacket, like top situation, because it's a jumpsuit within a jacket over it. Mm -hmm. it's stunning. It's, it's so good. Stunning. And it and looks so good on her body. Is, yeah, the way she styled it so perfectly, like... Yeah. It's so Nick, good. Nick Varios is, is, is it for me, truly. Ugh. I will be singing his praises for the bulk of this season. Yes. There He's, are moments. Yeah. But this where one... we're not, but... This one is a moment for Nick that I was like, he could have been in the top for me. Should have been in the top for me. We'll, we'll talk about the fact that there was one top placement, but I definitely do think Nick should have been in the top. I'm going to yeah. say should have. Should have been in the top um, for sure, because this is I'm gonna, beautiful. I'm going to give it a 90. I will give it a 95, because I just love it. It's so beautiful. Chloe. I also have to say... As much as Tara is that girl for me on the model end, Grace is also that girl for me. I like Grace. I don't like the cut of her hair. For some, it's just I don't know. Oh, I I am truly obsessed with it. And when I start drag, I just want all of my wigs to be in that shape. In the bob shape, like yes, that. <laughs> absolutely. I want a rounded bob. I want a full bang. Like that's mm -hmm. just what I want. But she's gorgeous, my, though. You know, fantasy. I, yeah, she's gorgeous. It it it, it works for her. Yes. It works for her, but I, I, I'm, I'm not, I, I couldn't pull that off. I'll say that, but it works for her. But I love this dress. Yeah, I agree. I, 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 it's a good dress. It's a good dress. It's a simple dress. She didn't do too much with it. It's a good dress. Yeah, it, there's nothing wildly spectacular. I do love the cross hatch on the back. I mm -hmm. think that adds a little bit of, a little bit of intrigue to the back. But otherwise, you know, it's a white muslin gown. I'm not upset about this. It's a solid start for Miss Chloe Dow. Exactly. Not mad. Nope. 70. 70 as well. I like it. So Zulima. this is Zulima, yes. It the looks only one that didn't have her name on the photos that we pulled. Look, that's very racist. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, I mean, maybe a little bit. I don't know. But... but also, I, I have to say, before we talk about Zulema's look, again, once again, shout out to Runway Threader on Reddit for all of these images. You are here. an icon. You're an icon. Legend. You are an icon, a diva, and you are the moment. You are the moment. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. this look from Zulema is not necessarily the moment. but I'm No, it's, it's very dowdy, a little matronly, if you will, but I'm not mad. It's, it's perfectly giving, safe. In the words of Eris, it's giving kind of an old maiden type of look, mm -hmm. uh, just a little bit. I will say I do love the pleating happening on the skirt. That is mm -hmm. my favorite part of this. Yes, me too. Um, but I, I find it to be a little bit m m matronly. But other it's than the length of the skirt, honestly, yes. for me that yeah. it, like if the skirt was either brought down an inch or up two, right? I feel like I would have been okay. Right, but it's fine. It's perfectly it's safe for me. Sixty. 65. It's fine. Work. Next is Kirsten. Mm -hmm. I actually really enjoy this. Yeah, me too. I think the open back is really interesting. The way she's styled is really fun. It's simple. I love that she went for pants. Mm -hmm. That really, that really was very, very unique on the runway. I thought it was, I thought it was really strong. I don't like the boot with that, but I kind of understand why it's there, but I don't necessarily like it. Um, but I do like the pants the way they are. I wish the shirt was a little bit more snug, like more fitted yeah. instead of that flare out. I think I, it would have been better with those pants. It was like a fitted like fit, but it looks yeah. good. It looks well, because okay. she has the ribbon tie on the back, which I really, really like. I wish there had been three of them. Mm. And then I wish that the kind of the, the geometricality of the shirt kind of went down another inch and we had like some more of those ties to almost give it like a corset like mm -hmm. effect, but still giving that like interesting angular movement mm -hmm. of it all. Um, but no, I think this is fine. Mm -hmm. 72. 68. 
Raimundo. This is this is cute. I didn't fine. hate it. Fine. Yeah, this is fine. My favorite part is actually the trimming on the bottom. Yes. I think he used his additional resource money very, very well. Mm -hmm. um, I hate her hair. Yeah, I don't like the, I the, hate, the hump. I hate the way she's All, styled. I don't, it doesn't fit her. Like, no, the hump makes her look older. It, the styling makes her look older than what I think she really is. She's a gorgeous model. Yeah. And this does nothing for her. But the funny thing about Ramundo and this model, this was not the, no, never mind. That's another episode. I'm getting mixed up. We'll move. That's but I do like episode. the trend. I do like the trim. I like the trim on the top of the dress too, as well. So yeah, I think he did really. It was fine. Yeah. So um, sixty-five. Yeah, but mm, seventy. It was okay. It's good. Diana, I oh. honestly, I enjoy it. I understand why she was in the bottom for the function functionality, mm -hmm. but I really love this neck piece and what's happening in like the whole mm -hmm. situation. And I love the ingenuity of the of the um, the magnets. I thought yeah. that was really strong. It's just unfortunate that it did not Good execute more. the way that she wanted it to. Right, because I feel like it it looks when it's falling apart, and I think that's where that picture was snapped when it was falling apart. It looks like oh, that's weird. But when it's fully closed, well, as you saw on the show, when it was fully closed, it's a really good wraparound piece. And then to have that magnet actually work, if it would have worked, and had that be the hanging off the back, it would have been very pretty. But I do love the neck piece. I think that neck piece right there makes it like. It's like built-in jewelry on the dress. Like you don't need to wear any accessories around you know, in place because that's what it is. That's the statement piece. And so I think it's really cute. I don't like the styling of her model because her model looks older again yeah. than she really is with that slick back severe bun. And I don't know. But other than I that, I don't mind it. I don't mind it for the look, but I don't like it still. But I like the I like the dress. I wish it worked. It would have yeah. been very nice to see. I'm gonna give her a fifty. Hmm, that's a little rough for me. I think I would give it a 70. Okay. Because I like it. It's just, yeah. I think it's fine. It just, the, the you know, the functionality didn't, didn't mm. fully work, unfortunately. But. <sighs> Let's talk about John. Because John, mm -hmm. we find out, made this in eight hours. Yep. I'm going to be really honest. I kind of like it. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it at all. I thought it was a nice, safe dress. Yeah. yeah. No design to it. Um, the sheer, like, middle part to the, made it a two-piece, but also connected it. It was not, I don't think it was a bad dress. Like, I don't think that, I felt like the judges was a little unfair to John Wade, actually. Should he have gone home based on this challenge? I don't no, so. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I, think I don't think so. I think it was some cute. other people. I love, I love the patterning, actually. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really, and they really dinged him for like, well, without the without the dye, it's a white dress. I'm like, yes, that's why you gave them gave it to twenty dollars for materials. And he bought dye. He is also not the only person that dyed the garment. Right. A lot of people did. A lot so... of them. It just it makes sense to me. Huh? I was confused by their critiques because I thought it was actually cute that he made it. He dyed it himself. He customized and made it a look like a pattern. And I so. Think because he does, he brings up in the critique that he did this in eight hours. Eight hours. Yep. I think that's like, what blew it for him. Well, but I, what I was going to say is he was like, well, I mean, not everything has to take a week. I think if he had said, I wanted to treat this like an actual Project Runway challenge, and I wanted to put myself into a time constraint, I understand you all gave me a week, and I appreciate that, but... I take this seriously and I wanted to try to emulate a challenge and the amount of time that I assume I would have for a challenge before I got here. And I wanted mm -hmm. to try that out for myself at home before I got here. I think if he had sold it in that way, yeah, maybe he may have stayed. 
I agree. I think so. I feel like once he said, I made it eight hours, and it was kind of like, eh, I made it eight hours because everything doesn't have to take a week. It kind of felt, felt very, very smug, dismissive. very condescending yeah. and dismissive yeah. to what they what the challenge itself was. And if, if he, he had come at it in a more earnest way, I think he right. may have actually appreciated But I do agree with you. If he would have been like, I wanted to start testing myself. Mm -hmm. as I was on the show and gave myself one day to complete this yeah. challenge like I knew I would have to do on the show. And so I tested myself. I was practicing. And so, and I think if he would have said that, that would have sold him. They would have been like, oh, this man is for real and serious and he can't play. Instead of looking like, eh, I'm so good. I don't really need a whole week. I only took eight hours. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still going to give it a 65. I will give it a 70 because I, I really do like it. I thought it was cute. <laughs> Santino. Okay. You remember how we said that Nick's model was Martinique? Heather is might be we might have two Martiniques for me. I this think season. we might have three Martiniques. It might be more three. It might be because Heather's gorgeous and she's Tara, so Heather, and Grace. Grace for you, yeah. Mm -hmm, Honestly. Mm -hmm. oh, I do so I love Heather. I do love Heather. I think she's so gorgeous. But I'm gonna this be, dress. I'm like, gonna be really honest. I don't like this. Oh, really? I, I the, love the back. I, I, I was going to say, I think the detail work is very impressive. And I think he was very smart to take a lot of the fabric that he had and do that braiding technique. I don't know what the technique is called. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to act like I know what the technique is called. But I think he was very smart to do that braiding technique. And I think that looks really good. I think from the front, it looks like scrap fabric mm -hmm. that you sewed together. And I just, I, I don't find that flattering. I mean, I can see what you mean. And I agree. It's, for me, this look shouldn't have won. I agree completely. For me, it was Nick's look for me. I feel I like Nick had the best look for me. So I do. But I do think this is a good look. I love the, the uh, details that he did in the back and on the front and around the, you know, with the straps or whatever. I do think it fit her perfectly. It fit her really well. And it just... That blue is a beautiful color. Like it's a, a great color choice. It's a beautiful color. And so I think that's what sold it. I, I agree. It was a very good look. He should have been at the top. He should have still been there. But I think for me, Nick's should have won this week. Yeah. I'm still going to give him a, a 77. I would give it an 80 because I think it was good. Okay. Next is Guadalupe. I'm going to be really genuinely honest and vulnerable here on the pod today, Lana. I forgot this look. I did too. And it's... It, it's I don't not, like it. What is happening <laughs> with the with the scalloped hem and then it looks like a mollusk at the bottom of the I skirt? I was about to say, is it lopsided? I don't get no, it. No. Unfortunately, Lana, it's not lopsided. Um, <laughs> I don't Get yeah, it? I, I don't also get it. don't know if this is for me to get. I but mean, I don't think she deserved to be eliminated for this because you can tell there's a lot of craftsmanship in this look. Yes. I just and I definitely respect that. Yeah, I mean craftsmanship is there. I just feel like she did so much that it was too much. And I just I mean, and even if it's a cultural thing that she was doing. This is what you came on the show for to be critiqued about your look. And if you're going to do cultural things and cultural references, you're going to get critiqued on your culture and these references that people are not going yeah. to always get. And so for me, I feel like this is just not a really successful look to me. Mm -hmm. I forgot it too. I didn't even remember what it was until you just pulled it up and I was like, that walked the runway. Oh, it did. Okay, sure. Yeah. I didn't get it. I don't like it too tough. It just looks weird to me. I don't know. 55. You're gracious. 40. I don't. I know I am. I don't care for it too much. Cara Jenks. I, I really do not care for this. <laughs> I think she took I have the to fabric be, and wrapped it around that girl and said, here, walk out there. It just, I have to be honest, though. Uh, Do we have four Martiniques? Uh, Eden! Eden eats this whole season. 
And then also, lest we forget, we have not gotten to Andre, but lest we forget Danielle. Yeah. God. Uh, they said melanin on this season in 2006. They said, they you know really, what? We see what pops on the runway. They said, we, oh, we only had one black girl on season one. Don't worry. We're going to remedy that by having, I think, what, five mm -hmm. on this season? It's impressive. They said, we know who can sell some clothes and what looks good on these on this skin. So we get about five of them, period. With that being <laughs> said, Eden's hair is bad. And that's not Horrible. on her. That, that is, is on Kara. That is on Kara and on Tresemme because they should, they come on. This is really bad. This whole look is bad and the styling is bad. It's they tried wrinkled. to make it. And it's literally, she just tied some fabric up and put. I will say I do like the hem detailing at the bottom. I think the little crisscrossing, whatever, whatever is 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 cute. Maybe I can it's, mm. it's a baby doll A-line dress. Like there's nothing. She should have been in the bottom. She should have been in the bottom. She should have been in the bottom. No, no, mm -mm. baby, no. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, no. Uh, I'm thinking something might happen that I didn't think we never did on Friday. Well, I did that last season. So I might did we? <sighs> I'm pleading. When did we? Wendy. I, I, I'm also pleading. Oh, yeah, Wendy Pepper. That is correct. I'm going to say we yeah, definitely no, did it. I'm going to plead as I'm well. Pleading. This is. I don't like this at wow. all. I don't like this at all. No. I didn't like it when it walked on the runway. I don't like it in this picture. No, mm -mm. absolutely not. Mm -mm. No. Absolutely not. Okay. Moving along. Because look Andre. at this woman. Look at Danielle. Look at Danielle. Look at Danielle with a Y. Mm -hmm. That she makes this boring ass garment look great. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. this this isn't good either. It's just so simple. It's just the top of Did the they script. really say, oh, we're going to pull four names out of a hat and that's the bottom four? Like, <sighs> no, because oh, some is... of those garments are bad and we haven't gotten there yet. But yeah, this one no, is, I mean, this mm -mm. is fine. It's perfectly fine. And yeah, this is safe. Fine. This is it... like if you took Guadalupe's dress and Chloe's dress and put them together. And then that's kind of and what trimmed I feel. it down a little bit. Just, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. fine. It's fine. It's fine. Perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. It's 60. It's 50. Fine. 50. Yeah. Fine. Mm -hmm. Great. And yes. I didn't particularly hate this look. Honestly. No, I don't. I don't dislike it. I think it really is a shame that Maria dropped out of the competition because she really was a great model for like this one episode that we saw her in. Mm -hmm. But like this color just looks so good on her skin. It looks so good on her. I really love, I love the detailing on the back. Me too. Me I too. don't know if it needed to continue onto the shoulder and on this like shoulder ruffle. Mm -hmm. I maybe would have loved if it was just like a simple front, but the focus is this back cut out mm. hemmed situation. Okay. I maybe would have liked that a little bit better, but I'm not mad at this look at all from Emmett. Me either. I kind of think it's. I, I like that they, he went pink and it, yeah. it was cute. It was cute. I do like the back. I like the back a lot. Yeah. Yeah. 70. 73. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is Daniel Vosevic. Oh, this is cool. cute. It's cute. It's cute. I like the, the little tree. I think he did. He was like, I won't go. I'm going to go a classic, you know, body con silhouette. And just add my trimmings on various places. And I think he added them in the right spaces. It looks cute. Yeah, um, yeah it's a simple, cute look. It looks good on her, his model. Yeah. I, I liked it. Yeah, it's definitely cute. Uh, I will also say, unfortunately, we do lose Melissa in this set of episodes. But Melissa is also a She's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgina. All of these models are gorgeous. Truly. Of course. Right. Truly. Um, yeah, this is simple, but I think really well done. I think the detailing of this, like the the diagonal situation mm -hmm. as they go to the back, I think is really nice. Um, this is this is fine. 70. Yeah, yeah, seventy. It's fine. 
Oh, Heidi. Alabama queen. I know. <laughs> but you know, Heidi. I, re I really wanted her to stay because I liked her. Mm -hmm. This was not good. It was literally just, she bought some tr lace trim and threw it on top of a skirt and a, t a tube top. It looked like a tube top. <laughs> it literally is a bandeau and an A-line skirt. Like That's literally what it is. Yeah. And they and Michael even said that on the runway. He was like, it's a bando and a skirt if you take away everything else that she bought. Oh, darling, this is just not good. No, it wasn't. I don't hate it as much as I hated cars, though. That's the bad part. I don't. <laughs> Same, but I'm still gonna plead. I, I I'll give her 10 because okay. she's from Alabama. Okay, that's I uh, I understand that I am not from Alabama, therefore I will be pleased. I mean, but I the need... fact that I liked it more than I liked Cara, Cara yeah. I have to give her a score. True. Yeah, but Heidi, you're lovely. You're a lovely gal. Lovely, lovely gal. woman. Lovely, lovely gal. gal. Marla. I mean, I don't hate this either. No, actually, I really enjoy this. I kind of. I, I think, think honestly. 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 I don't remember the last look. I don't remember who's left. But, oh, absolutely not. The last person is not anywhere near the top. So I will comfortably say, I think if I were to name a top three for this episode, I mm -hmm. think it would be Nick, Santino, and Marla. I really enjoyed this. I loved the fringe detail. Mm -hmm. It looks very, you know, modern, but also like grungy a little bit mm -hmm. I love the detailing it looks unfinished but yet it looks finished yeah I really like this I do like it. I think it looks at the, for the time it looks young it looks hip it looks fresh it's like sure it's the two piece in the skirt and the top but the details that she added to it just made it look more fresher than any other two piece that can walk this runway. The way I thought the it was collar, the with way the, the collar is right. too. Like, and then yeah. she got the little back jacket and shawl thing going on. I think it was cute. I like this. I really enjoy it. I'm gonna give her an 80. I would give her an 80 as well because I thought it was good. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I would say Nick Santino Marla for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That sounds about right. Cause last up is Daniel Franco. I mean, this was not a bad dress, it just didn't fit. It just didn't And fit. that's not and that's the problem. inherently his problem. Right. But no, I don't I don't think this is bad by any means. I don't think it's good. I mean, I he did some sick. really interesting things with the six yards of fabric that he got. And uh, I think Well, it's, this is before high lows were really, you know, right. on trond, if mm -hmm. you will. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, I th I think this is fine. Yeah, I think it was why I wish her, I don't know, maybe they should have added some cutlets to make her boobies bigger so it could fit the dress. Or he should have took it down so to fit he her. He had it, two hours. So. Yeah, he had two hours, so he could have did it. But I don't know. It, it looks okay. It's it's a perfectly fine dress. 60. 60. So, so yeah, I would say my top three, Nick, Santino, Marla. I would agree with that. Sure. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what the judges thought. We get no. one. We get one person in the top. Yeah, that's it. And the winner, and Santino. <laughs> they were like, he, he won. Period. Bottom line. I was like, I get it. For me, it would have been Nick. Would have been Nick. Hundred percent would have been Nick for me. Hundred percent would have been Nick. So, but, but yes, yeah, so we have Santino win, and then we have a bottom four. Everybody else is called uh, in. They are on the season. Woo. Woo, woo for this. Woo. woo, woo. So our bottom four are John, Daniel Franco, Diana, and Heidi. I would have put Cara Jinks there. I would have put Cara in there. I would have said Cara home. Over who is the question? I guess John. Over John, because I think John's was perfectly fine. I think we gave John the highest score of these These looks. four. Yeah. John or Daniel? Yeah. I, I would I have... Would, let John yeah. compete. Right. John's going to win. I mean, in all honesty, Cara Jenks gives us the drama this season, so I'm yes. very happy she's there Right. in that regard to give the delusion. Yeah, but, but 
fairness. It was based on the look. In fairness, I would have put her down here. Sure but, no, sure no, sure no. Yeah. And we do lose two designers. Two and we designers. lose John and Heidi. Heidi deserves John, not so much. <laughs> Obviously. But Heidi very there. deserved, unfortunately. But unfortunately. I'm moving around you guys a lot, so I'm gonna try to be still. I just have this energy. I don't know where it just came from. I a caffeine. That's, That's probably where it comes from, actually. Because I am just moving and jittery, but moving Ooh. on to episode, episode two. two. We got I'm to moving. episode two in 45 minutes. I am proud of I'm us. Proud of us. 16 okay. looks and a whole episode. Boom. Period. So we're moving into Atlas, New York. We're getting into our new spaces. Mm-hmm. Heidi's throwing a party. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but before we do any of that, we have our model pick. Mm-hmm. And, and uh- <laughs> this is the first season where you pick your model and your model sticks with you. Which I'm going to be honest. I like the other. I like picking and switching. I do. Because we lost some really like, good models mm-hmm. early in the competition. Because of some really crappy designs. That's not their fault. Mm-hmm. Literally. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so we'll talk about who is paired with who when we get to talk about the looks for this episode. Um, but we do lose. Uh, well, initially, it's Alyssa and Allison. Mm hmm. Originally uh, eliminated, however, somebody makes a debut. Somebody it's Allison. Back. It's Allison, Allison comes back because Maria decides to. I, I don't want this anymore. She said, "I don't want to do this anymore." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, okay, okay. Sure. Diva. sure, okay, sure." <laughs> so yes, we're going to the party. We have a party. The models are there. I was like, "Cute, love it, wonderful." And then Tim gives out the challenge for the episode. And they have to take the clothes that they are wearing at this party and transform them into a garment. I hate this challenge. I hate this challenge with my whole heart and soul. Because number one... I don't want to take some clothes, fabric that's already purposed as clothes, and turn them into something totally different. Like, what if I would... Okay, so I'm going to do something that I never do on a podcast. I'm going to stand up. Oh! Because I want to show. This is a nice, long outfit that I have. Okay. Right You'll see. Oh, okay. So Come on, fabric. It's, it's nice. It's long. It's a maxi dress. Sure. Yeah. If I wore this to said party, you'd be fucked. <laughs> all I have is this to work with, and all of these patterns. Now I have to cut them up to create another dress out of a dress, or pants out of a dress, or short out of this fabric. This. Pattern, I, I would hate. I would walk out of there and be like, "Screw this, I'm done." I, I you know what? I think there's actually a little bit of something that you could do with that. Um, I mean, sure. I'm, I'm a designer. I'll figure it out because it's things with mm-hmm. like this part here, I was different say, color. You can take that and re- repurpose it. Repurpose like, it. I could, you know, cut. But it's so lock all of the patterns and kind of do something with that. Literally for me, I am wearing short shorts and mm-hmm. this blue and pink shirt. And I'm like, I would be absolutely screwed. Right. But I'm not going to a party in, in New York. In that. So. And you wouldn't go to a party in New York in that. Absolutely not. I mean, now, um, I probably would go to a party like this because it's a I, cute I don't blame dress. you. <laughs> it's a cute dress. But I love that for you. Um So yeah, we have this challenge. The main storyline of the episode really is Kirsten wore this scarf that was um, an heirloom from her mother and she didn't want to include in her look. And honestly, I don't blame her. If that's one of the last things you have from your mother who is no longer with us, I get it. I get it, which was given to her by her grandmother. So her Literally. grandmother gave the scarf to her mother, her mother gave it to her, and she wants to give it to her, ch- her child, which makes sense. I wouldn't have wanted to give that up either. But I also would have found a way to make it work where I don't destroy it 
It's not becoming a part of, it's not, it's just something that they can take off the guard. Like, it's a scarf, make it another scarf. Like, make it a wrap around as a belt or something. Like, tie, like wrap it up, it's a belt. <laughs> That's it. I'm not, Literally. I'm not ruining my scarf. I'm just not. You can ding me on it. But she should have used it because it was such a big thing in her picture. Put it in the hair. Wrap up. That's the easiest Head scarf. thing. Exactly. Period. Or even just like, Oh, wait, who was, her model was Melissa, right? I think. Just braid it, like have it braided into Melissa's hair. Done. Just take it and make it a thing in the uh, she could have been. Yeah, because you can wash the stuff. Have it as like a scrunchy situation. Have a mm -hmm. high pony. Done. Like Done. yeah. I get yeah. it. I understand it. I think the judges, honestly, in my opinion, were a little harsh on her in that mm -hmm. regard. Mm -hmm. She didn't make it work regardless. But right. Um, yeah, it really wasn't a whole lot of things happen. Like people were upset about giving up the skirt. Like Nick didn't want to give up his his, his vintage leather jacket. Santino Andre didn't either. No, he didn't. Andre had a whole complete meltdown about the outfit that he wore because it was so sentimental to him because he just closed his store. This was yeah. the first. This was the last outfit he wore the day of his store closing. And it was like a whole thing. And so he went into like, this was a sentimental outfit for him. And he didn't really want to give it up. A lot of people were kind of like, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Chloe literally wore a little mini dress. And that was it. <laughs> she had, and a jacket. I think that she had a jacket. Oh, and we will talk about Chloe Dow in this challenge. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. And then, yeah, people just weren't prepared for this. And so they yeah. didn't dress because they were dressed to go to a party. They weren't dressed to figure out they might have to put take these same clothes and turn it into something else. But so that was really the the whole dilemma of these, the the second episode was what do I do with these little clothes that I have or all of this stuff that I have or not the stuff that I want to give up? And it just turned into the runway that we're about to show you because honestly. That's the best we're part there. of this. We're there. We're there. So guess what? We're back. Period. Episode two. Let's. We got fourteen looks to get through. So let's just let's just do it. Let's do it. And first up is Cara Jane. And this, and I like this outfit from Cara. I'm so glad that it was better than the wraparound dress. Mm -hmm. I think I like the jeans, even though she just made jeans into shorts and just wrapped, pulled it up. It, it's what it is. It's it's. It's cute. It's nothing spectacular. It's cute. It's fine. I don't like it. Oh, well, Julie. <laughs> I feel like it just looks too similar to what she made, what she wore. Mm. And if you're going to do this kind of challenge, I just want a little bit more ingenuity. I think it's very well made. Mm -hmm. But like, you turn jeans into, into shorts. shorts. Oh, wow. Groundbreaking. Right. Like, <laughs> I'm not wowed by this. And I'm going to be honest, I, I'm starting to remember, it's not really all that wowed with Kara Jenks in this season. Like, e Eden was cute. Eden <laughs> is eating. Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But no, it just. Okay. I'm going to give it a 50 because Eden looks good. Oh, I will give it a 60. Santino, you know, I dislike Santino a lot. I really don't like him. This is spectacular in every possible yeah. way. This is, honestly, yeah. maybe he should have won. I, it was so but good. But we'll talk about Chloe. Ugh. It was it's so difficult. good. It was so good. I, Yeah, I agree. I don't like Santino. But the man can design some clothes. It's yep. sickening as he it is to yep. give you know want to praise someone who you just don't like. This this is gorgeous. It fits Heather perfectly. It's yeah. it's it's so good. I like the little hip thing. That's it's it's just so good. And then the styling. What what did you put in her hair? What why would you do it? And why does it work? I just kind of well, love. I'm pretty it. sure it's shredded up. Parts of the fabric from the look, right? Which is crazy, and it's gorgeous. It's like, why did you do that, and and why does it work so well? It looks great. I love it. Yeah, it's I so it. good. 
So good. I'm going to give it my first full of the season. I, mm, I want to echo. It's not the only one I'm going to give tonight. I no, no. I will echo the full. It's definitely good. It's worthy of that. Yeah, yeah. Raimundo. Raimundo. I like this look. This is I, cute. It is so I really cute. like it. I even like the Capri pant. I like where it yeah. stops. I like this. And I love that he branded himself. Absolutely. I I like the styling of his model. She looks so cute. She gave me Taylor Swift vibes in this picture. Oh, yeah. I She's love it. She's giving me like if Taylor Swift was in Greece. Yeah, I just, I just kind of love it. I, I love yeah. this look. I'm a fan. I am a fan of this look. Maybe he should have been in the top. I kind of think he should have been, but you know, that's just, you know. I'll reevaluate at the end, but he's mm -hmm. definitely up there for me. Yeah, I'm really impressed. From styling to execution, everything just looks great. I thought it was really, I, I thought it was really, really good. That was good. I thought it was really good. 85. 98. Wow. I okay. really like this look. I really like it. I love that. I do love that. Andre. 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 Let's didn't... start with the positives. Danielle is Danielle. Beautiful. Danielle. Danielle is beautiful. And Danielle's there. <laughs> what in God's name was this? What the hell did Andre brief her? That's what he told to her to do on the runway. Like, give Panther on the runway, do it, do it. Oh, uh, all the boys say. That's what he told her to do. He literally told her to go, and she did it. Like, she's given, like, was the brief Glamazon? Drag race hadn't happened yet. Like, hello? <sighs> I, uh, I don't even want to say about anything about this. I'm just going to plead, and I'm really sorry. I it's, just, there's nothing I can say about this that's constructive or good. No. I but Danielle. Able, besides Danielle. And Danielle. you're lucky we can't judge based on the model, but. True. And sometimes we do. I, I can't this time. It's an awful look. Yeah. Please, please, please. There's so much potential in this concept, too. I think it's a really interesting concept. Yeah, it's just not executed uh, well. At all. Oh, at all. No. Guadalupe, I don't like this. Me this is tacky. I don't like it at all. This is bad, I actually. <laughs> Um, the more I look at it, the more I'm. It's just. I don't want to look anymore. It looks <laughs> like a Candyland explosion. I don't want to look anymore. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I was trying to think of like the Michael Kors quotes from like later seasons because they just get more. My favorite is toilet paper caught in a windstorm, and I cannot wait for that look. I don't remember what season that's from. <laughs> But toilet paper caught in a windstorm is my favorite critique Michael Kors has ever given. But this looks like a Candyland explosion. It just oh, I don't even know what it looks it's like. Bad. I have no, I have no. Please move. I can't please. even look at it no, anymore. How is she not in the um, bottom for this? Well, <sighs> there's there's three other bad looks. Okay. Talk about one of them. Nick, Nick, this is cute. I like this. I love that he took the jacket and made pants. I think yes. that's really, really smart and good. Tara. 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 I hope she has had a long and illustrious modeling career. I really hope so. Mm -hmm. I don't know where she's at, but Tara, wherever you are, I hope you've had a very successful modeling career. The open back with the chain, using the chain. Yes on the back and then the cuffs and then the pants and then the little like thong detail. Yes. It is all just so I like it. wonderful. I liked it a lot. I liked the cut of the shirt. I liked everything about it. It was sexy. It was edgy. It was good. I like it. He has the perfect model to pull that off. Mm hmm I love that. 96. 97. Yeah, Raymundo, I'm sorry. I'm going to take your spot in the top, unfortunately, and we give it to Nick. I'm sorry. I mean, 
Daniel Vosevic. That's fine. <laughs> I love how we are both on the same page. Like, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well, again, Rebecca looks dowdy. That's the issue here. It's like she looks. She looks dowdy and matron. This is an old maiden type of look. It's just, it's fine. 50, I, it's fine. Um, you know, there's some detailing there. I like what's happening with the with the collar situation into the back. I'm going to give it a 60. Okay. Marla. That's fine. It's fine. fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I think that I feel the same way about her look as I feel about Daniel. It's fine. Oh, I like this a little bit more. Um, I think. Yeah, I think I like this a little bit more. Because I like the here, fact I... that I like the fact that it's denim front and then the lace back. I yeah. do like that. I like that. So maybe I like it a little bit more than Daniel. So you know I, what I you know what I would have absolutely loved is if she had done the top and the bottom the denim one. Front. Well, no. If the de if the top is a denim front lace back and the skirt was uh, lace front denim back, denim back. Mm. Like that I think that would have been, been a little too cheesy. Fair. I would have liked, liked. I would have rather. Ha I mean, some people like cheesy. I would. I mean, I. I feel like the denim should. It should have been denim front lace back all the way through. Sure. Yeah. And I that would have been true. like the front. The front is the front party. It is the front party. Front. The front. Ooh, the business is the front reveal. party in the back. Right. Yeah, carry that. Yeah. Yeah. But I like um, it. I would mm, yeah. 63. I would give it a 60. I'm about to say since I gave Daniel a 50, I like hers a little more better. So 60. Yeah. Diana. I don't like this either. I don't like this She said, I'm gonna do every single design technique that I've learned. Yeah. And put it in. I'm gonna do the asymmetrical, but then I'm gonna do a cross asymmetrical diagonal. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna have this red, but then I'm also gonna have this tan underneath it. Because that's the jacket I wore. I, because I didn't have enough fabric to make a full skirt out of this red. I mean. I feel like somebody else should have taken this same initiative and like I don't have enough fabric for a full dress so I'm going to use the other parts of the fabric that I have and tack it onto the bottom to just make Poor a full Zulema. dress. Poor Zulema. But yeah. But I don't like is, this either though. It's not that great. Yeah, because then we get like the same sort of like thong detailing that Nick had a little bit in the back. Yeah, but it's not. And then the, like this thin strap across the back, but then this thicker strap on the shoulder, the yeah. one side. Mm -hmm. it's not. Mm -mm. No, darling. Mm -hmm. Twenty. Thirty-five. Mm. Chloe, Chloe now, yes, ma'am, <laughs> yes, yes, this is everything to me, I love it, it's cute, <gasps> I love I'm... it, I love I... Uh, I love the back. I love the back sure. detail. I love that she took that. Just like we said, Chloe did not have a lot of clothes on. No. So she did not have a lot of fabric to work with. So I like that she made the jacket and the dress and like put it together and made that back and made it color block. It was, I like it. It's cute. It wasn't my favorite, but you go. I just, I am such a sucker for color blocking. And I just mm -hmm. think the way that she did this was so expertly done. Oh, just the draping and the way that she put these pieces together. Ah, oh, I love this. I mm -hmm. really, truly do. I think it's so chic. It's so modern. That really is what Chloe does very, mm -hmm. very successfully. And mm -hmm. I, I love it. My cup is full. I'll give it a 90. I like it. I do. I think it's one of the best, better ones on the runway. I like how the the jacket part goes from the front to the back and the made pockets in the front. I like yeah. okay. Emmett. 
I didn't hate this. I don't oh, like I the do. I don't like the styling of his model. Well, like the that hair. Is bad. That's atrocious. Like Shannon should she deserves better than that. But someone I like, in the trust of my hair studio said she was fly, hot, and sexy. And unfortunately, she is nothing of the sort currently. Shannon is gorgeous, but this perm they put on her, mama, absolutely not. Mm -mm. See, this is the thing. I like the uh, the creativity of turning the, the pants into a jacket and making the whole like sleeve of the pant a sleeve of the jacket. I thought that was kind of cute. Now, is it like the dress underneath it? Blah. It's not Blah. Blah. But what could he do? That's the shirt he wore. It's not her fault and not his fault that his You taste. make a different design than this. He needs to turn it inside out. What do you need to do? Because that design is that design. That print is that print. I would have loved, because I do enjoy the jacket. I think the mm -hmm. jacket of the pants is really smart. What I would have done is I would have taken the collar, removed the collar from this, make this like a like thin strapped sort of like low plunging v situation mm. and then maybe with the same sort of skirt design i just think that would have like it looks matronly i wonder if he could have dyed that like the top like if he would have cut that they, in half they didn't, they, well they didn't have any other materials so they couldn't even use dye no they didn't go to they didn't go to like mood at all i don't think oh uh. No, I don't think they did. Not even for a trim or anything like no, that. No, it doesn't seem like it. Because none of the none of these garments had zippers in them either. That's the true. Part, like, so I mean, I, I don't know what else he could have did with that, but I did not like the dress. Underneath I just it. think if it was a if it was a plunging neckline, maybe with this lighter blue than is the trim, maybe in towards the breasts. I think that maybe would have been a little bit more effective. Maybe. I'm gonna give it a fifty-five for the ingenuity of the the, the jacket. jacket. Yeah, I would I would match that. Definitely not bottom worthy. No, no, but definitely not top. <laughs> because this was bottom worthy from Kirsten. <sighs> she could have used that as a shawl, that scarf as like a wrap around. Something. There are so many things she could have done other than cutting this shirt and making it a halter top. Uh, it was just. Mm. I will say though, I actually kind of like the skirt. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the skirt is really well constructed and I think it's it's patterned very mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Um I just hate the top. Yeah. I feel like she could have did something so much better with that top. Like I don't know. I would have maybe made the top into the skirt and then made the denim into a shirt. Like the jeans and I don't know. She just could do something better. I would have loved. No, here's what Or I that gold top. Sure. I'm going to say, keep the skirt the way it is. Make a, a one sleeve asymmetrical, like almost bandeau top. Like take what she did here, but then just put both straps on one shoulder and giving it a little bit of like intrigue in that regard. Keep one bare shoulder. I think that could have maybe made it a little bit more interesting. Mm. Sure. But I don't hate, I'm going to give her a 40 because I actually don't really dislike this. I feel like it's just it lacks in creativity. That's fair. So I would give it a 35. That's fair. Not the worst of the night. In no, my not opinion, the worst. In my opinion at all. But no. Daniel yeah. Franco. I wasn't mad at this. I kind of like this. I'm not mad at this in the slightest. I this is not don't think he should have been in the top. I I think it's tailored well. I think it's constructed and well. That's, and that's why they put him in the top. And I understand yeah. that. I but. think he's I think it's constructed very well, but I feel like it's not exciting. It's very it's good. It's just nothing spectacular about it besides the tailoring of it because it's very well tailored, it's very well made. And I can understand why you, people would like it and why it's, you know, why the judges liked it. I just feel like it wasn't the most exciting piece that walked down the runway. No, I, I think it was, this is exactly what I would have expected based on what he wore to the party. Mm. Like he took, he just took the jacket, removed the bottom part, sewed it together to make a top and then took the 
pants and made a mini skirt. It's very well constructed. I can't mm -hmm. say anything about the construction of it. I there were other looks that I thought were a little bit more ingenious than this. Mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. so, Agreed. I'm I'm still gonna give Daniel an 85 because I think this is really really well done. But it's just yeah, I will give it. I will, I will give it 78. It's good. Oh, oh lame. We got to end on the lama. I didn't, in, I didn't do that intentionally. Oh, boy. I love you, girl. But you could have added, you got on a whole pair of uh, jeans. A whole pair of jeans. Like, you should have made shorts or some, a skirt or something. Like I would have loved if just the top of this had been draped in denim. I think yeah. that would have been really fun. But instead, you're left with this girl with well, her whole out. entire booty cheeks out. Her cheeks is out. She's cheeking the whole runway. And you do that. You saw that. It was like, it's so short. Like, yeah. even if she would have added, like, jean fringe at the bottom, like, jean tassels. Or so, uh, yeah. yeah, this definitely should have put you on the bottom. I almost would say it should have sent you home. And I hate to say that because I never want to say that. Well, I'm not going to plead on this look. I, I will think, not plead. I think there are interesting details. I love the way the back is draped. Yes. Uh, that that really it sells it for me. Um, I'm going to give Zulema a, a 20, 10 for each of those booty cheeks of Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> so, that feels like the most fitting. Story, so that's what I'm going to give her. I mean, I will say her model is beautiful. Rachel's beautiful. Her cheeks are nice. They're, they're, she's a dime, so I give it a 10. Sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, I also we uh, forgot to mention the guest judge. No big deal. Just Diane von Furstenberg. No sure. big deal or anything. Who cares? Just... Who cares? It's just Diane von Furstenberg. <laughs> and I remembered because I remember Diane's reaction specifically to Zulema's outfit, which I might have to pull as a reaction. Mm -hmm. And then she's just like. But like, then when, when they went to discuss it and they were talking about it, this is what got me. Diane, been first, oh, Diane, she says. I liked it. I know. I'm like Miss Diane. Like, Diane. Miss Diane von Furstenberg. What are you doing in this moment on this day? I liked it. I, liked it. <laughs> I can't. I was like, this woman just sit this bottle down with her whole booty cheeks out, and Diane is like, I like it. I liked it. <laughs> like what? What do you mean, Diane? How many glasses of white wine did you have before this, Diane? Oh, That's what I would like to know. And if however many you had, I need to get as many because I want to be just like you. I want to be just like you, Miss Diane, because baby, I love it. I would love to be like Diane from first birth. Let me make that very, Heck very yeah. abundantly Heck clear. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yes. So I our top it. three. I liked it. <laughs> I want to say that for now. Chloe, Daniel Franco, and Santino. I probably would have put I, Nick. I would have put Nick or or, or Rob uh, Ramonda up there. Like I, Daniel. You I know. think I would have put. I probably would have put Nick up there. I'm trying to see. I feel like there was someone else that I really. No, I think I would have put Nick. Yeah, I, I think I agree. I would have put Nick. I would have put Nick up there instead of Daniel Nick, Franco. Chloe and Santino. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think Nick was uh, robbed a couple of times in this. These first few weeks, but okay. But mm -hmm. We got a winner, Chloe Dow and Santino. Oh, he was is pressed. He goes and sulks in a corner, and I was like, "Girl, it ain't that serious." I was like, like uh, "Excuse me, did you think you would go in every single week?" And we'll yes. talk about the first because oh, it only goes down from here. It only gets worse. Oh my God, this only man. But go, yeah. We get our bottom three. It's Andre, Andre, Andre. Kirsten, and Zulema. I agreed. agreed. Well, so here's the difficulty. We but pled it's other people. Mm -hmm. on 
Guadalupe. So where does Guadalupe fit into this? And For I me, think, I don't know. That's the problem. It's like all of these are bad. But we but, also plot on Andre, so that's what I'm saying. I feel I like Zalima. Me, honestly, I I would take Zalima out because we did not plead for her. That's what I was gonna say. And so I feel like Guadalupe should be in there, but uh, I didn't. I'm gonna. I, didn't. I was gonna say I gave Kirsten a better score than I gave Zulema. So I think for me personally, I would maybe take Kirsten out actually, and I would put Guadalupe in there. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, mm. like that's just. But the th I think fitting the theme, I think Kirsten just dropped the ball with the theme of it all. I think and, I agree with you. And completely, so, if that's but... the case, that's the only reason she has to stay in there is because she did not do the theme, she and she home. gets going home because she did not. She did not use all the clothes that she wore on her back. Which she could have done, and it is what it is. But Kristen's gone. She didn't use the scarf, therefore she's gone. And, and she, when she walked out, she said, "I'm gonna tie this scarf, and I'm gonna take thirty seconds, my last thirty seconds on TV. I'm gonna tie this scarf around my neck, and then I'm gonna flip my little light off." And I was like, "You better fucking work. Mm -hmm. You better make it work." Period. And she did in that last thirty seconds of her street time. Mm -hmm. She did, at least before the reunion. Right. So. I don't remember what she did at the reunion. We'll I don't find out in a future episode. So, we're um, on what, episode three now. Episode three, we find out that mm -hmm. um, we are going to see a big New York socialite at her house. At her house, but first, but first, I forgot that this was the season where they said, "Oh, winner of the challenge, you can either keep your model or, or eliminate the model from the girl that went home." Mm -hmm. And I don't think anyone switches their model in this season, actually. I mean, I wouldn't either, because I'm, that's just... I'm literally looking at the, the spreadsheet right now. Nobody's think they did. No. Not a single person. I mean, I, they, they're like, why would I do that? <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, but yeah, so we do lose, uh, in this episode, we lose Melissa. Yep. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Bye, Melissa. You're gorge. So, Gorgina. Truly Gorgina. So we're walking. We're walking. We're going to Times Square. We're going to Toys R Us. And the theme is Barbie. That seems very fitting with what's going on in the world right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a whole movie about Barbie right now. Have you now. seen the movie? I have not. I also have not. I don't plan on seeing it until it comes out on streaming because it's not theater worthy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Some movies are theater worthy for me. This one is just not. No, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. Wholeheartedly agree. I my last theater worthy movie was The Little Mermaid, and I went and saw that. My next theater worthy movie, as of right now, will be The Color Purple. <laughs> oh, period. Now, if something else comes out later on that I don't know about, then we'll think about it. <laughs> absolutely. I think that sounds absolutely lovely. So, yes. So, we are designing for my scene, Barbie. Mm hmm Okay. I mean, they were very, like, not... Sh they were very shocked that they the socialites that they were going to see lived in Toys R Us. They thought they were going to some big celebrity's house and in, in Upper Manhattan, blah, blah, blah. But no, you're going to it's, Toys R Us. It's like they someone was like, oh, um, Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm like, Gwyneth Paltrow? You think Gwyneth Paltrow wants y'all in her house? No. Absol what celebrity wants six, four, 16, well, 14, 15, 13. 13 people in their house? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, I'm fine. So we go to um, Toys R Us, and it's my scene, Barbie, and everybody gets to pick a Barbie that is supposed to be their inspiration. Now, you don't have to be exactly like the Barbie, but apparently some people was thinking that they had to dress, you know. They were like, no, no, you don't have to make a design that is the Barbie, but just the inspiration of the Barbie. And so everybody goes and picks their Barbies, and then Hat Gate happens <laughs> as they're about to leave Toys R Us. So everybody has their Barbies. Everybody know what the assignment is and they're leaving. 
And then they get back to the workroom and everybody and Tim is like, something's missing. Where's where's Kara? And they said, oh, Kara ran back to Toys R Us or she went to Toys R Us because her hat of her Barbie fell off. Because she and was shaking her damn Barbie everywhere. Shaking it. Just taking no. it and shaking it and lost the hat. No. And so no. now she has everybody who works in Toys R Us trying to find this little bitty hat that she flung off her Barbie because she really wants the hat. I'm like, baby girl, you saw what the hat looked like. You know what a hat looked like. Make the hat if you want to do the hat. But did she really just not remember what the hat looked like? I'm like, girl, what are you that literally cut into all of her time of creating her design? And by the time she was found the hat and made it back, they were at mood. Literally. So she literally didn't have time to sketch what she was gonna do. So she was running around mood, very blind, not knowing what she was gonna do. Everybody else is like, oh, I'm going to pick this fabric because I think this goes with what I designed, what I created, what I sketched, da da da. She like, oh, 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 because oh, she has no clue because she was worried about a hat. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. A hat. Girl, bye. Did she even <laughs> make a hat for her design? Yeah, I think she did. It she better bad. have. But we'll, we'll, yeah. We'll talk about it. So we get that. The other big moment of the episode is we find out that good old Marla, lovely, joyous, lovely Marla, is is uh, not classically trained in the sewing. She did not go to fashion school. Mm -hmm. She's a mother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's an attorney. Was that attorney? Mm -mm. It, no, that was um, that was um, Kristen was an attorney. That was that was Kristen, correct? Marla is just a lovely a woman. Mother. She start, She has her own business. She has her own boutique. Oh, yeah. She has her own boutique. And she makes her clothes and people buys her clothes. Because she but does she it. does not know what a, what was it, center? What, center a center stitch. stitch. Yeah. And a front stitch, whatever thing. I She doesn't know. She's like, look, I make my clothes how I make my clothes. And that's just it. And I didn't know all this technical stuff. And now she's in a room full of people who know all this technical stuff. And she feels a little bit like a fish out of water. And she doesn't really know what she's doing. And it's showing. And they're, and people like Chloe and Santino are quick to let her know she does not know what she's doing. <laughs> but in a polite kind of way, they help her a little bit. But they're... Chloe is like, girl, mm -hmm. what you come here for? You don't know what you're doing. Like, <laughs> like I'm like, well, I mean, it's like I always say, why you go on Amazing Race and don't know how to drive a stick? Like, literally. Why you go on Survivor and can't swim? It's just, it's just, literally. It's just, it's just things you just need to know why before you, you come. You can't go on Drag Race and not know how to do your makeup unless you're Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <sighs> But I'm just saying, you have to know how. It's just these, it's these little things that you know was gonna come up on the show. Like you need to know how to lease so a little bit going on Project Runway and Drag Race, actually, because design challenge come up. You need to know how to do a little bit, or at least be very, very effective with a hot glue gun. Period. But you can't do that on Project <laughs> Runway. No, no, no. You better not hot glue gun. Absolutely not. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it. we're just guess what? Jumping right into looking it. At looks. That's really what our reviews are here. It's like we I talk really about love the drama looks. and then we talk about the looks. Like that's, that's honestly what it is. So, I mean, and I love that for us because I appreciate doing that. Me too. So first up is Chloe. Now I have to acknowledge, and we will talk about it later with a certain mm -hmm. designer and mm -hmm. their model. Mm -hmm. Um they were offered these blonde Barbie wigs to be mm -hmm. used. Mm -hmm. um, some designers chose to use the wigs. Others did not choose to use the wig. Because it was optional. They told them it was optional. We'll talk about it later. But mm -hmm. currently we're talking about Chloe. And I think this is a lovely garment. Mm -hmm. I do too. It's a perfectly good. Like I can see that in a box. When you're Absolutely. walking down the toy store and you see that high-low skirt. 
and that, and that barb- pink that pink lining is what yes. would just catch it would catch it and then you'd be like oh and then you see all the details on the the collar and then the yeah. the, um, the yeah it's a perfectly really good design for a barbie doll absolutely perfectly lovely uh 80 actually i really enjoy it yeah i would i would match 80 this is diana i like the angular then the elements right i like the shirt i don't like the skirt and i don't like the boot with the skirt i hate the boot i don't understand the boot with any of this i will say i actually really enjoy the top and the skirt just not together mm-hmm. i love the way that the skirt is pleated i think that's really fun mm-hmm. and i would have loved that with maybe a simpler top right and i maybe would have loved i love what's I love the top the top yeah she <sighs> this is really what diana is this is her bread and butter like, yeah this is what she is just very very good at is these sorts of you know bringing scientific right into fashion which i i love that perspective i love that she to this day still has one of the most unique perspectives of anyone that was on the show I can, yeah. and i'm i'm genuinely surprised i don't know if she still is a designer i'm genuinely surprised that she did not make a return on future seasons mm, yeah but you would think she would have i yeah. i believe she didn't but I like, I love the top. I love the top so much. But yeah, I think she's, she has a very, and then the fact that it is a hood and you yeah. can take that off. It was so, I love it. She thought of the Barbie of it all. And I yes. really did appreciate that for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, for that ingenuity, um, I'm going to bump this up to a 70. I would say 68. Great. This is Santino. And this is ugly. It's so ugly. This is the first one I was like, Santino, I do not like that. This is ugly. I just, I don't like all the purples. I don't like the mishmash of purples. The problem is, I could absolutely see this on a Barbie. Right, right, which makes it so, ugh. It looks like it would be, for me, it looks like it's the, when Mattel tries to make Rebel Barbie. This is the outfit they will or put her in. Like, this is Barbie's little sister. Yeah, right. Skipper. Sure, yeah. This is Skipper, not Barbie. It's like, oh, yeah. I plan, I'm playing in Barbie's clothes. Right. It really does feel that way. Yeah. I don't love the double, like, ruched mm-mm, skirt. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I just, the back <laughs> detailing with all the knots and, like, cute. coming together in the back, I think that's really cute. But it's just, don't. Yeah. it doesn't translate in the front. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, 15. Whoa. Mm-mm. That's a lower score than I was going to give. Mm-mm. I'm going to give it a, a, a 40. Mm-mm. I don't like it at all. That's fair. Fair. Okay, well, so now we have to talk about Andre because fuck these judges. And fuck these judges. I'm going to once again say... Fuck these judges. I was so angry. I paused the episode and was like, are you freaking kidding me? You are so dang disrespectful. And then you want to tell him to lighten up is just fashion? Absolutely not. It's not just fashion. This is... (sighs) Microaggression is honestly what I would call it. And see, and I don't want to jump on the diversity train and representation matters, which it does. It does. But it truly does. But the fact of the matter is, y'all said that the Barbie wigs were optional. And Andre looked at his model and said, I would rather you not put on a wig because you're so gorgeous and your hair is so gorgeous. I would rather just use the hair that you naturally have to promote my outfit. And I'm like, yes. Because her hair is beautiful. And for you to sit there and say, you should put on this wig and just lighten up. Representation matters. This period. With a blonde straight wig. It would look. I hated every melanated model that walked down that runway with that blonde wig on. I hated every bit of it. I'm like, just because Barbie is Barbie, Barbie can also be us. 
But you have to remember, Lana, this is 2006, where they didn't have uh, Barbies of different colors. They just uh, appropriated the culture. I, yeah. And, and uh, unfortunately for me, I mean, we were all the black Barbies was Barbie's friend Jasmine Literally. or Barbie's friend whatever. Yeah. And never Barbie. And I'm like, and yeah, she, yeah, I might be a little sensitive because I am a black woman. Duh. Yes. But I found it so annoying and so disgusting by them just like dinging him because he chose not to use an optional wig. It, w then you should have said it was mandatory. You should have told him he had to use it. Like it's mandatory that everybody wears these blonde wigs if we were going to get points taken off for not wearing the blonde wig. And I don't think the outfit is a horrible outfit, to be honest. I really enjoy it, actually. I was going to think, say, it I would, think this is gorgeous. I think it would look cute in the, if you put that in a box, a Barbie box, with that puffy skirt, it would catch people's attention. I think, honestly, every little black girl that saw that Barbie would be like, oh my God, she is beautiful. And we'll want that. And the fact that he was trying to put that out there into the universe for them to see it, and they totally just like poo pooed on it. I, it I, was too, he was too ahead of his time. And I, I, do, I genuinely appreciate Andre for this. Um, I think from a from a technical standpoint, there are a few, you know, things that could have been better executed on the garment itself. I love the design, and I think overall she looks absolutely stunning. I don't think it should have took him in the bottom because of that. I, absolutely honestly, not. Absolutely not. Honestly, I think Andre should have been in the top. If you want to be honest, but all right. This is a 90. This is a 95, and then I'll bump it to a 98 because of Andre's integrity. I will bump it up to a 93 then because of mm -hmm. Andre. So we'll get that same three-point bump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Daniel Vosevic, this is fine. That's fine. That's honestly kind of how I feel about Daniel this entire season. Me I'm too. Really Daniel is fine. This is fine. I, don't, I, I hate the boot, though. The boot is bad, but a lot of people wore the boot. So right, which is uh, like something that was provided. I will say, I think the I think the color is really fun for Barbie. It's different, but it, like, it still fits you know, in the Barbie universe. I love this trimming that's happening. Um, I don't fine. know exactly what the trim is, but I think it's fine. I, I think she looks good. Uh, I'm going to give it a 75. 68. It's fine. Nick, this is just everything. I love this. This is the one moment where I will say... The blonde I, wig looks good I, on I, I'm just going to say the blonde wig on the melanated model, I do think... It fit very, very It well. looks good. I mean, I still hate it, but it looks good. She looks in that far left photo. Yes. You cannot tell me that is not Tyra Banks. Yeah. She looks exactly like Tyra Banks. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Oh. It, she, I just... And I, I don't love. think she looks like Tyra otherwise, but like in that... Mm -hmm. exact in that picture, image. in that moment, in this moment. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. I love the he, the colors he chose. I love the mint green with those with that pattern. And then he took it and made a head scarf because I'm like, Barbie can't wear enough head scarves. It's like hippie Barbie, but in a beautiful fashion way. I love this and I loved his story. Uncle Nick would be my favorite uncle if I had an Uncle Nick. Right. Like I love that. I love this one. This this my cup is overflowing. I've never overflowed this. This is my first overflowing for the season. Like okay. drown me in the in the ocean with this one. Like ugh. agreed. Agreed. Ugh. Absolutely. That flower in the hair too. It's so on the on the, good. What the, ugh, the flower that cinches up the ugh. I think we're going to look back when our, when we do our favorite. Uh, this is going to be on there for a while. I think long. this is definitely going to be on both of ours. Yeah, for sure. Ugh. Daniel Franco. I thought this was fine. It was fine. Like I it said. It looks less Barbie. Yes. But more it looks like it's 
it looks like if Daniel Franco designed a Barbie, which I mean it is. So Yeah. I feel this is giving me very professional Barbie. Not my scene Barbie, it's business Barbie. Yes. This is This is CEO Barbie. Mm. I mean you put a jacket on that, that's CEO Barbie. I was gonna say head secretary of Vogue or something. Mm. I mean it could be CEO of Vogue. <laughs> I really wish it didn't I really wish Claudia didn't have this wig on. Yo, it don't look good on her. It does not look good on her. And I think that's honestly detracting from it for me. But the garment is actually, I think, really, really well done. Mm -hmm. It's It's executed well. Yeah. 80. Yeah. Yeah. 85. Look, to one up you, 81. Sure. That's fine. (laughs) I mean, I guess. Yeah. Emmett. Emmett. I I love this color. I I like it a lot, actually. I like it a lot. I like this whole look honestly this is giving like abba barbie yeah it's giving me aqua barbie it's giving me not like water barbie you know but like i'm really getting like abba swedish yeah like i'm getting that i'm getting that vibe a little bit like mama mia barbie like i love the sleeve i love the length of that skirt yeah, I, I think this is what well, this is a successful blonde wig moment for me because she looked yeah. very Swedish, Danish kind of, you know, Norwegian. This is, is real. This is Barbie going on vacation in Santorini. Ooh, I love like it. that's I what like I'm it. getting. Like Scandinavian I, Barbie going on vacation in Santorini. That's what I'm getting from this. Or Scandinavian business Barbie. Like, because it can sure, work in her yeah. office. Like, this yeah. is what she would wear when she goes to work. And then she, like, she'll have a jacket on when she goes to work. Uh, and yeah. then she takes it off when it's nightlife. Like, this could go from a day-to-night outfit. I, I like. forgot how much I really enjoy this look. I really do enjoy this look a lot. Yeah. You know my cup is full. I kind of really know, I like think this. I agree, actually. <laughs> I, yeah. I kind of really like this look. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you. Yeah, I think my cup is full. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. The okay. more I look at it, the more I really love it. The more I look at it, the more I'm like Nick. That belt. I love the belt. Win, but this is this I love the little there. belt at the at the hip. It's so good. It's so cute because it's not like a waist belt. It's, it's a hip belt. It's so good. It. I kind of like it. Yeah. That you know, that brings it into the more my scene Barbie. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely think he should have been in the top. I don't think he should, I still think Nick's is better for me, but I, don't know. I think my top three, I, we still have a couple looks to look at. I think my top three was Nick, Emmett, Andre. Mm, okay. I think. Let me, well, we'll finish the one. Well, not oh, Cara Not Cara Jenks, no. This, I don't think this is bad, actually. No, I, it's, it, I think this is a typical Barbie look, but I feel like this is a Barbie look that has been done way too many times. But I think makes this sense. is a Barbie look that has been done too many times after this was shown. Hmm. Because I don't remember Barbies looking like this in the mid two thousands. This feels twenty tens Barbie. I have a question though. Huh. Kara also did not use a blonde wig. Uh huh. Why did we not say anything to Kara? Because she was just safe. No, 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 no. She was in the bottom. But we didn't say anything to Kara about not using. I agree with the you. blonde wig. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. These judges, that's what I'm saying. Say it one more time for me, Logan, because you know I ain't going to say it. What you say about the judges? Fuck the judges. Yes, thank and you. Fuck the judges. And guess what again? Fuck the judges. Period. And whoever that lady was from Mattel, no. She can go. No. She can go. Sorry. Bye. Bye. Um, uh, this is not offensive by any means of the no. imagination. It's, it's a, 65. It's a, it's a solid 60 for me. Guadalupe. I don't like her clothes. I'm learning more and more as we go along. I, I really do not enjoy like her Guadalupe as an individual. Right. I am not liking her clothes because this, this is, is not Barbie. Barbie at all. This is not Barbie. This is not even off brand Barbie. This is this not is even like, Dollar General Barbie. This This is like Dua Lipa going to like the weirdest award show this is awful <laughs> don't it's like it not good it's, 
Guadalupe, mm-hmm. darling, how mm-hmm. did you make it as far as you did? I am confused. I am very confused. I am more and more not liking this. These. Oh, oh no. Plead. I plead. Really? I plead. Wow. I don't like it. Ugh. I'm going to give it a, a 20. Good on you, gal. <laughs> Yeah, I I can't really exactly tell you why. I, I I don't know why I'm giving it a twenty. But I don't I know I why will. I'm giving it a twenty. But I guess I will. Eliza looks beautiful. Oh. That's why. Okay, I'm trying to get yeah. to Eliza. Zulema. I don't like this too much either. I don't like this too much either. See, this is the thing. I always root for everybody black, but then I watch this this season yeah. so much far. I'm like, Salima ain't doing it for me. She wasn't the one. She has some very strong moments. She has strong moments. These are not we it. We have not seen those not strong yet. moments yet. Not gotten them yet, but no. This I don't um, like. This is not. Mm-mm. Criminally offensive. No, it's perfectly safe. It's just the color isn't washes it's her washing out. Washing her out, absolutely. It's just, um, it's just not. Mm-mm. Forty-five. Mm-hmm. You were gracious. I was going to give her a ten. <laughs> well, that's fine. Because I, I don't. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't. Yeah. But I like the small purse. <laughs> oh boy. For a moment. This is somebody's mama. This ain't Barbie. This is Barbie's mama. This, this is bad. This is Barbara. Oh, right. This is not this Barbie. Is Barbara. This is Barbara. This is Barbara. I, I'm, I'm um, sorry. I will be pleading again. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's this just, is not. It's just bad. It's just I'm bad. Everything about it. The way it's he paneled those oranges. Okay, it's just not good. Mm-mm. The concept is actually nice. I think the concept could have been done a lot better. Like this like 60s mm-hmm. like mod Barbie, I think could have been done really well. It's just I agree with you. The way that the the orange was paneled, I think honestly, had had he leaned fully mod and done just like a smaller orange panel and then this big floral panel on the side. And then done a couple of other orange panels with this floral. I think it could have been a successful enough look. And shorten that skirt. Like it's Barbie. It's, it is it is at the knee. It is literally at the like shorten it up a little bit. Or make it a full length. Right, maxi like, dress. Yeah, like, like a pencil skirt, skirt or something. Like uh, yeah, it's no. Sorry, uh, sorry, Ramondo. I will be pleading for this one. And let's Marla. Marla. Interesting details. Not my favorite. I love look. the back details. The back details I love. And I like the side, the little uh, yeah. thing. But it's just something about the color is wrong. It's just this is a this is the red version of the dress that Heidi made in the first episode. Yeah, it's just it's not it's too if it wasn't for the details, this dress would be Nothing. But I won't plead because she did do some detailing that I like. So I would give it a 30. That's generous. <laughs> no, actually, I'm 25. Okay. Yeah. Well, so that's that. Mm-hmm. I love how quickly we just go through these looks. It's like there's really not a whole lot to talk about, but also like we spent an hour and 45 minutes doing this today because there were 43. <laughs> so, uh, so we get our, we have a top two this mm-hmm. week and it's Nick and Santino. I Santino think that, not. No. Santino, I no. I think Santino was perfectly safe. Yeah, but not in the top. Not in the I top. think my top three, I'm going to, I'm going to confirm. I think my top three would have been Nick, Emmett, and Andre. Yeah. If we were just going to do a, new, a top two, Nick and Emmett. Absolutely. If we Absolutely. were just going to do a top two, it should have been Nick and Emmett. But if we're going to do a top what? three, Nick, Emmett, Andre. You know, and I would I would maybe float Chloe up there uh, high safe. Mm-hmm. I thought Chloe's was oh, yeah, cool, oh, yeah, but yeah, effective yeah. and very good. Yes. Yeah. I will I will put Nick, uh, uh, Chloe as my, like, maybe fourth, fourth or maybe switch swap uh, Andre, Andre and, and Chloe. Like, yeah, maybe Nick, Emmett, Chloe. Nick, Emmett, Chloe, and then Andre the fourth. 
possibly. Yeah, yeah I would do that. That sounds about yeah, right. Yeah, that uh, I, I'm okay with that. But, but that's not what happened. No, that's not what happened at all. But we but, get a winner, mm-hmm. Nick Varia. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Uh, and Santino again was oh, the <laughs> drama. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, and I'm like, you are spoiled brat. Do you know that? Mm-hmm. You're the worst kind of person. You can't even be pr- happy for your friend that you like your you friend can, and roommate and roommate no. you can't even be happy for them like no. get a life sir so our bottom four is andre marla cara jenks and raymundo andre should not have been there but whatever it should have been guadalupe if we go do four it should have been guadalupe like how did oh, she get past all this nonsense i can't understand that these churches, but anyway, unfortunately, so it ends up the bottom two itself is Marla and Raymundo. So they call Andre safe, they call Cara safe. It's Marla and Raymundo, and I think correctly, correctly, so, correctly, so lose Raymundo. Yeah, I enjoyed Raymundo while he was there, but yes. I think unfortunately, this was the right decision because that outfit was just not it. Full balls was that his? catchphrase cool whatever. balls that was his thing cool balls. that was okay. his, he was like i work didn't know diva. that's your brand and you stick with it work diva. and i love that for you i hope he's doing well absolutely we'll do our uh update at the end of the season where yes. is everyone where is I everybody so we'll research it and find out <laughs> well that's our first episode here a long one but i'm not surprised but um, we did it in less than two hours, which I'm very impressed with us. In what about say because we can't do one one episode of Drag Race without being in two hours? Speaking, Speaking of, of Drag Race, join us on our other channel. Yeah, the main we roll, channel. We roll like that. We have two channels. Maybe we, more to come soon. Who knows? But join us over there if you haven't joined us there, and if you're watching from there, go grab some friends and bring them over here because right, we need to show that all our friends follow us on all of our platforms so mm-hmm. join us follow us like share subscribe sharing is caring so i think you should share with your friends these great episodes that we're doing we just did three episodes in less than two hours yeah so come on and That's the a- next the next set of episodes we have to cover i remember just <laughs> oh dear god mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dear God. Dear God. They're going to be great. I can't wait to talk about the rest of this next three. because Lingerie and Socialites and Banana <sighs> Republic. My goodness. But yeah, also do the YouTube things because you're here on YouTube. You know what to do. Like, share, push all those buttons, notifications. Yeah. Know when we always, when we go live and when we drop a video, get the cup get merch. Get your merch. Always. All our cup merch is at lanagesecreations.etsy.com and you can get that and other things there. So check out all of our merch. You know, we are mid outro, but I just remembered something that we did not talk about in this full hour and 50 minutes almost. Oh, what did we miss? Pregnant Heidi. Oh. <laughs> pregnant the first of several seasons of Pregnant Heidi. So we'll talk more about Pregnant Heidi next week. But, okay. but yeah. With that being said. Oh, follow us on Twitter at The Cup Pod and all of our other social medias, our Instagram and our TikTok on The Cup Pod. And then if you just want to follow Logan and myself, you can do that too because we're cool people and we say some cute stuff on Twitter from time to time. And yeah, I think we covered it all. So thanks for watching and cheers. Cheers. Bye. In fashion, one day you're in and the next day. You're out. And we are out. Auf Wiedersehen. Make it work, designer. <laughs>